So hi everybody, um, I'm Livio, I'm a freelance illustrator from Italy, um, living in France, and uh, um, I work uh, mainly using uh, Krita, so 100% using free software. I would say, well, I think this, I have to move to the second screen, okay. Um, so here we go, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I work only with free software. Eighty percent, I would say, is main uh, is made with FreeTab. Ten percent Inkscape and ten percent uh, Kitten Live. Um, so I'm here, well, to share my uh, experience as a <coughs> as a professional. Here you can see some of the illustration I do for various clients, mainly magazines companies, well, basically, whatever it comes. Um, but I don't want to give too much attention like to the uh, images. I'm here, I, I don't think this is very useful like within the community, maybe outside, yeah, but within the community we should focus like on problems. Um, so I would like to ask you first, how many of you in the audience are artists? Raise your hand, oh whoa. Yesterday I had the feeling that like there were just a few artists. So how many developers? Okay, slightly more. Um, but this is cool anyway. Do you have uh, to be one or the other? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Do you have to be either or? Oh no, no, no. You can be in between. <laughs> no. Actually, <laughs> There's no time to define exactly what an artist is, a developer is in a 20 minute presentation. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's start it. Um, so as I said, I'm here mainly to... Okay, cool. To um, share my point of view as uh, a simple user who doesn't know how to code, actually. Um, I think like we need to uh, communicate between developers and users a lot. Uh, and uh, actually, even if I use Linux since 2005, I never wrote a single line of code. And the reason why is because I firmly believe on the human capacity of specializing one thing and do it well, so actually I'm not interested in uh, learning code. Uh, just I, I want to draw. I don't know why. I don't know. Just presentation. Maybe I can show PDF. Just keep it. Well, yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Um, so, yeah, I'm here to share my, it's even worse, <laughs> um, my point of view. Um, well, I'm really happy that the Krita team is here because thank you, without you, like those illustrations would, wouldn't exist at all. So thank you very much. Um, well, do you have any idea of... I would just suggest not for screen text. Can I just show it as a PDF? Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. you have to 
sidebar. Yeah, the yeah. piano yeah. just Oh, there's the sidebar. Well, okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, there is um, a speech there of me by David Foster Wallace, which is called uh, This is Water. And it talks about how we um, basically feel at the center of the universe. Like we experience the world through our body and our mind. And uh, we feel that our pain is more relevant than somebody else's pain. And um, if we are stuck in the queue in the supermarket, then there is other people that is in our way. So basically we think we are more relevant and more important than other people. Um, the point is here that it's very hard to put yourself in the shoes of somebody else. Um, and um, I would like to remember that at the beginning, the free software is a solution provided by the user for the user. So it's basically one guy that had a problem and started developing to solve this problem. Um, and I think it's very important to keep this uh, problem solution link because if we want the community to grow, uh, we should be more and more able to think as somebody outside the community. So if, if you are here, of course, it's because we share the same values. So we, we, we love free software all. But uh, like if you want more people to join, maybe you should start uh, taking the point of view and putting yourself in the shoes of somebody that is outside the community. Um, and well, to scale, um, if we want to scale, of course, is linked with money. Uh, so I would like to um, talk about this because it's a very sensitive topic, even within within our community. Um, I personally think we need money, but it's a real question. <laughs> and uh, I, I would like to ask you, how many of you think that free software should be a professional alternative to commercial software? Like, to do the same things? Should is a difficult word. Yeah, should, sure, yeah. Is it? Okay, well, I, I would say the majority. Okay, um, I, I'm part of the pool. Um, I think we need a lot of money, and uh, talking about money is not arguing that uh, we don't believe in, in the free software values. Uh, we should just define our goal, because uh, it's not clear at the moment if we want, there are some people that want to be found for project, other people that uh, doesn't want to, they just uh, create a tool for amateurs or they want to develop in their free time um, and they don't want the responsibility that comes with the money, they just want the freedom to make a release every once in a while. Um, but like this is a real question. There is so much diversity that the, the goals are not um, clear. Like for every project it works uh, differently. So, I think we should define those. Um, and, uh, like, the idea that um, money is a reward for work has been around for millennia, I would say. So, I don't think we're going to change that with uh, free software. So, we should just embrace the idea that uh, we should fund money not by selling licenses, but through other business models. Uh, but still, we need a lot of money, simply because if we want a professional tool, then we need people working full-time on them, on, on, on the tool. Um, so we should pay fairly those people. Um, so maybe we can look at some other kind of business model. We, we all know what it works for open source, uh, like Red Hat is the biggest example maybe. Uh, so the first business model is selling um, support and service. Red Hat is doing this, Canonical a little bit as well. The second business model successful is uh, the double license. So to have like a core version of the software with basic function that is completely um, free and open source. And, and another which is custom made for businesses. Uh, 
which is commercial. Um, we just have to keep in mind maybe those uh, models. I don't say that they're the, the, the best way, but maybe we should like um, think about those other options as well. Um, why? Because in, like in my experience, um, I understood that many people outside the community, and I talk of my clients, for instance, or other people, colleagues, illustrators, or teachers, um, they don't, since they are outside the community, they don't share our values. So they just look for convenience, basically. And I have the case, when somebody issues uh, GIMP instead of Photoshop, is basically because they have a problem. So there is this relationship I was talking about, um, problem solution. So the guy has a problem. He has to make, I don't know, a PhD uh, thesis and he has to do some edits on images. So there are two options. Either download and try Photoshop or uh, download GIMP uh, just with a connection and start using it. So GIMP is providing a more practical and faster solution to his problem. And my clients don't know, like 100% of them <coughs> don't know I'm using free software because they just don't care. Actually, they just have a problem. They want an illustration or a video. And I'm providing the solution for that. They just, uh, there is this uh, problem solution relationship. We should keep in mind that uh, if we want other people to join. Um, the problems for me are that we should still build a lot of credibility outside the community. Like, um, many people still think that free means bad quality. So um, we should prove that there are professionals using free software and making good stuff. Um, by far, as I can see on the internet, we are not helping because you are like uh, considering that since we use, we use free software, we are all friends and we are on the same level. Uh, but I think we should like select more and have some place online to have a showcase of the best work. Um, we are mixing too much amateurs and uh, professionals. I know it's, well, it's another thing like how on which criteria you select the words, and it's another question, but still, we need a good showcase. So first problem, credibility. Second, well, money, as we say. And the third one is diversity. Uh, every project is different, which is, well, a positive point in the open source, because it's like more democratic, that there are many eyes spotting the, the uh, bugs and uh, everybody has ca can contribute and give uh, its own his own vision but at the same time we don't know if they are building a small project if you want to be found if they are building something for professionals so this is important for the users because we have uh, workflows we have pipelines we have problems in our everyday professional professional life in this presentation, I wanted to show a little bit this diversity, but on the side of the users. Well, not, not only the users, like within the, the community. So I thought, how can I express it? And I made, I used the persona system uh, with, well, those are friends of mine, I portrayed it with watercolors. Uh, they don't know what they're in the presentation, by the way. <laughs> um, so I invented some people Five, five people with different point of views and different problems to show like uh, this empathy um, and different needs system. So the first one is Irene. Uh, she's the artist, so she's I'll say the feminine version. We all have a feminine version. She's the feminine version of me. Uh, so she works professionally. She's a freelance illustrator using free software. She thinks Free software is great, but some projects still miss like this vision. Um, so she 
says we, we need to be more credible and more professional outside. Um, and she frustrated because uh, if I take one example that I experience personally, every day is like, okay, I use Inkscape as well to make business cards or vector works. And it's, it's not that easy to, well, it's not possible to print in CMYK within Inkscape. You have to do a workaround, uh, import in Scribus, and then export with the color profile. And I mean, of course, it's possible. I'm happy to do the workaround every once in a while, but it's not, it doesn't suit to a professional workflow. Just, and for a tool that is meant to be the main one for graphic designer, that's a big problem. So that's the problem of Irene. Second one, João. Uh, he's the IT, he's one of the developer. Um, he codes all day, he works in a company using, com uh, he's developing commercial software, like full time, and in his spare time, he's doing free software. So it's the case of some of you, I guess. Um, he says free software should not be compared to proprietary one because it's not the same thing. And he's really happy with the situation as it is. He doesn't want money because he enjoys the freedom that comes like working on the spare time without constraint, without, constraint, without a to-do list uh, and uh, the pressure to make a release. Um, but the problem is the project he's creating is growing, so he's not able to spend more time and somebody wants to fork this. Third one, Fernando. He runs a small business using free software. Uh, 3D, providing 3D services. Um, he feels like we have to change our mindset if we want to be more uh, successful, but like we need this business. This is more the open source and company uh, vision. And he lost the commission on the public sector because they require to use uh, proprietary software. Fourth one, Beatrice, um, she's the outsider. She's not using free software at the moment, but she would, she would like to, so it's an interesting point of view. She works in, as an educator, um, and like she's frustrated because her colleagues are skeptical about the possibility to integrate this in the uh, in the in the NGO, even if she thinks the free software matches the values and it could be a good way to save money. Uh, fifth one, last one, Javier. So he just graduated in computer science from university. He would like to, he contributes to many free software projects and he would like to, to work full time on them, but he doesn't know how to make a living uh, out of it. And even like he collected some money through Kickstarter or whatever, crowdfunding campaign, but he has no idea how to declare taxes. Uh, like he don't want to manage money. He just want to to be an, an, an IT a developer. So those five profiles show a little bit diversity and the different points of view and needs of, um, of everybody. Um, act the actual situation is this. It's like the old model. And some, some small projects are still in this um, state. Like there is one person doing developer, user, accountant, fundraiser, community manager, project manager, webmaster, graphic design, plumber, making cakes, uh, whatever. <laughs> Just one person. And I think we need at least to have three profiles. Uh, the developer, which is just good at like <coughs> making code. A project manager that very often miss, we, we miss. Uh, and a community manager, so some, somebody that uh, <coughs> communicate, that uh, like animate the community and uh, um, manage like crowdfunding campaigns, whatever. And, and on the other side, the user. Now, there is a reason why we don't have this for every project because it's very hard to find a volunteer for as an accountant or a project manager or a community manager. It's very hard. Um, so it's just normal that we don't have those profiles. But at the same time, we could imagine like a small umbrella structure 
uh, four, I don't know, maybe four or five projects within the same field, like visual arts, that share a community manager, uh, or in some cases, even a project manager. Um, well, this is an hypothesis a proposal. Um, so, on the right side, my contacts, my website, uh, we are building, trying to build this fresh idea we started it like a couple of weeks ago, trying to build um, an online directory with um, all professionals working with free software tools for two reasons, showing, well, making contact between potential clients or between colleagues, like in the, in, in the same field, uh, but with a selection, like the focus on, on, on quality. So if you want to be part of the, the directory, uh, there is a field to, uh, a form to, to fill. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you.